what's going on y'all it's your girl Deanne denise back again with another video in today's video i'll be reviewing the turvix hot comb i've been on the hunt i've been trying to find a reasonably priced hot comb to press out my wigs and you know lay them down if you're interested in my review as well as my demo of if it actually did work or if you just vibe with me and want to see my video sit back relax and as always we're going to get right into it is freshly on as you can see i didn't even touch the top because i really want to see if this hot comb does work i was in you know the search of looking for a new hot comb because i felt like my last one just wasn't doing what it needed to do it wasn't giving what it needed to give i went ahead and i went on amazon and i did find the brand turvix when i looked on youtube it wasn't too many recent reviews on it so I said, let me go ahead and make a review on it. Like I said, wig is fresh on. I only flat on the ends. I didn't touch the top because I really want to see if this is worth it. If it's worth every bang for my buck. You know, this was more on a reasonable side. So hopefully everything works out and she's a winner. I'm going to just read the box and the, the specs. So it's just a Turvix electric hot comb. It says styling close to the root of hair, argan oil and keratin remedy and temperature up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so it just looks like this. On the back, it gives you a little bit of information about how the argan oil and keratin infused comb teeth. It basically is healthier for your hair. There's five adjustable temperature levels and there's an auto shut off after 60 minutes. So if it's not used after 60 minutes, it's supposed to go ahead and shut off. So yeah, let's get into it. So I'm gonna open it up. I want my wigs installed then to be flat flat the last one i feel like it took forever to really heat up right i couldn't see what temperature was uh, it's just one of those cheap cones i had got one day from my beauty supply store so i'm in the search to find something better okay so that's it with the box the hot comb just comes like this looks like this i opted for the rose gold option so this is it it also has the attachment in here that you would just put on like this you know what do they call this attachment they call it a plastic cover for comb does it say anything about it let's see I'm not too familiar with this i'm not a hair guru i just know what to do enough to make it do it doesn't really say what that piece is for it says it's a comb cover okay i'm not gonna lie this does not say what the comb cover is really for All right, so we're just gonna get into it. I'm going to plug her up. Let's see, let's see what it's giving. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn it on. Okay, there we go. So it's blinking on the 280. It's, it's heating up. As per the directions, it says 280 for damaged hair and then to 320 for thin and soft hair. Let's do 356. 356 okay i put it to 356 if it's too hot i'm gonna turn it down okay one thing i do want to say it says that when you switch it to temperature that it's supposed to blink and it's supposed to stay steady for when it's heated up so i changed it right let's see i changed it right when you change it it doesn't blink so you don't even know if it's when it's at that temperature so that's something that's a little bit questionable According to the directions, it's supposed to blink. And then when it's at the temperature, it's supposed to stay steady. I'm not seeing that. See, it's, it's, look, let's see if I want to go back down. I'm not seeing that. Or if I wanted to go all the way high. I'm not seeing that. I, we only saw the blinking when it first came on. And that was it. So that is something to be mindful about when purchasing this. Because it's high. Because if you're trying to figure out what setting or heat it's on, I'm not gonna lie, as you saw, it didn't do it. But you know what? We won't we won't frown yet. Let's just see. Okay. So you know, when it comes to pressing out wigs, it is best to put a little something on it. That should be enough. Just using my Caracare wax, brush it through just a little bit. 
before pressing it <laughs> it already made a little bit of a difference and now we're gonna press her out so i'm not gonna lie the placement of where the buttons are i literally just pressed it while trying to press my hair out see where the buttons are i don't the placement is weird we still not gonna count cancel it out just yet, just yet, just yet. I'm gonna do one side and let's see. So I did this side so far. Let's see. Do we see a difference? It feels flatter. I feel like right here I need to do a little bit better. And I think I just pressed the button again. <laughs> the buttons. So, like I said, that's the placement is weird. I think maybe it should have been lower or maybe higher or maybe even on the back side. I don't know because where you, where the design is to curve for you to hold it, typically you wouldn't hold it down here. You would hold it in the middle and that's where your buttons are. All right, I see a difference. I definitely see a difference. It's like a hump right here. So I need to press the other side out. I see a difference. I see a difference. I do have some flyaways that we will take care of in a second, but I do see a difference. So let me go ahead and press the other side out now. So far, so good. I think I think this might be okay. Now, is it the best of best? Probably not, but it does the job for the price so far. This is something else to be mindful of. So as I'm doing it, it's like the pieces of hair are getting stuck underneath. You see that? It's like getting stuck in the groove. So fake hair does that, that means it's definitely gonna happen too if you have long hair, like long real hair and you're buying this for that. That's something else to be mindful of. Look, see it's getting stuck. It's getting stuck underneath there. It's like pull, literally pulling it up. Just put a little bit of spray from my flyaways. So my thoughts, do I think it's worth it? I think that this product has pros and cons. So the pros is the exact reason why you would have bought it for, it does the job. It serves its purpose. It presses your hair out. It lays your wigs down. It gets the roots straight, things of that nature. Cons, the placement of these buttons, it's not the best. Not being able to tell if it's really heated up to the your desired temperature is not the best. Getting your hair caught underneath there is not the best. If I would have paid any more money than I did pay for this product, I would have been probably more mad, upset. Um, will I still use it? Yes, because like I said, I really only bought it to press my, lay my wigs down. Will I lose this on my real hair? I would probably use it only for the roots. I'm not gonna dare try to put it all the way through because the way it got caught, it would scare me to test this out on my real hair. I probably would just hit the roots like this, hit the roots like this and not even bring it all the way down. I feel like when you bring it down, then you start going into problems. So if you're just hitting the roots, hitting the roots, hitting the roots, you should be fine. I'm like kinda like this with it. I mean, I'm, I'm okay because it, did what it needed to do but on the other hand there are some specs with the actual design of it that i'm not really feeling all right this is my honest review i hope this helped you out i saw other reviews and they failed to mention those little things and i'm pretty sure my my hot comb isn't the only one that has this these issues you know, but I hope this review helped somebody out. I hope it was helpful. I hope it was informative. And as always, until next time, bye beauty. See you next time. Mwah.